This video will cover how to use the ASIO for All tool with USB microphones, built-in sound cards, and even pro interfaces. ASIO for All is a software driver that allows several sound cards or interfaces to run under a single driver. It also provides ASIO support for sound cards that only have WDM drivers. This is useful in a number of situations, such as using a USB mic with a built-in sound card, using lower latencies with an existing sound card, or providing an ASIO driver for software that requires one. To get this going, first go to www.asioforall.com and find the latest version. We'll skip over the beta versions and find a full release. When you click on it, you'll immediately get prompted to download the file. Go ahead and save it, since it's better to download than run as opposed to installing something over the net. Once it's downloaded, double click on the installer. Leave all of the options on the default settings. After you have ASIO for All installed, double click on the offline settings shortcut to pull up the control panel. Here you can see we have a Samson C01 USB mic that's disabled and a built in Realtek sound card that's enabled. To make a device active under the ASIO for All driver, you will need to enter the advanced view, then highlight the device, and press enable. Now our CO1U and Realtek card can both work under one driver. Now to use this newly created mutant driver, we need to launch our audio program. We'll work with Ableton Live right now. In the audio preferences page, we'll select ASIO as the driver type and ASIO for all as the driver. When you go to select an input, remember that the input and output labeling is vertical. In other words, the topmost input in the ASIO for all control panel will be input 1 in your software and so on down the list. Our USB mic here is the third item. We have a stereo configuration for the Realtek card and then the mic is under it. So on our audio track, we choose input 3 and we get audio from the mic. Now let's add a third device, an M-Audio Fast Track Pro. You can see all three in the control panel. Suppose we want to receive input from the Fast Track Pro's SPDIF input and the Samson USB mic. But we want audio to go out of our speakers, which are connected to the Realtek card. Here's how we need to configure ASIO for All. You can see only the USB mic, the Fast Track SPDIF input, and Realtek's output are green or selected. We'll just leave everything else blank. Now, if we go into, say, Cubase, we can choose ASIO for All and get audio in from these inputs. If you run into problems with ASIO for All, you should check the manual, which can be found in the C drive, then program files, then the ASIO for All folder. We hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for choosing Sweetwater.